Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And today we will start our discussion um, About the news that we decided from the first video So before we started Let's uh, introduce ourselves again okay, So my name is Nurin Irdina Ifkamenti Mamat Safari And my metric number is 2930 and my name is Inta Batini Binti Abdul Rahman My metric number is 204072 Hi, my name is Miza Badria Binti Nazri And my metric number is 201048 My name is Munira Binti Samsa My metric number is 204074 My name is Sharmila Ana Pumpanji Sangha And my metric number is 204076 My name is Nurul Faizah Tuhuda Binti Muhammad Fauzan My metric number is 200576 Hi, my name is Afika Izzati bin Tuyuk. My matrix number is <coughs> 200860. Hi, my name is Natria Shazwani bin Tiwam Mahasri. My matrix number is 200339. So, today, uh, we will discuss the news about the food. Anything related to food. So, today, uh, for me, uh, I would like to share about uh, food poisoning, second 60 and kills 2 in Malaysia. And salmonella confirm. You, do you know what is salmonella? No. no. Sal salmon. I salmonella. Don't. Salmonella. Okay. You don't. Uh, okay. I guess that everybody don't know. Yeah. Okay. Salmonella is a disease. Uh, it's called salmonella. Uh, neurosis is a disease caused by the bacteria salmonella. And uh, from that, uh, you will from the bacteria you will get a uh, food poisoning. So the symptom is vomiting. Uh, diarrhea, nausea, and it's it is not good for you for ourselves. Okay, so uh, the news is about uh, sixty cases uh, of a food uh, poisoning at and it involves two people deaths, and the cases is occur at Kedah, uh, which is uh, the stall that sell laksa. From that food, uh, the people who who consume the laksa get uh, food poisoning. And from the our KKM, um, the Ministry of uh, Health in Malaysia have uh, given an uh, instruction to them to close their store. So, uh, so they also advise to us um, about uh, our tips to choose a restaurant, uh, which is before you go to any restaurant, you have to make sure that the uh, restaurant is clean, the plate, the place. Uh, the hygiene at the place is is uh, in a good condition, which is, mm. which is in a uh, great A. Okay, that's all the news. So make sure you take care about your health and also uh, think more about choosing a good restaurant. <laughs> Quality is more important than price, right? Yes. yes. Before I start my discussion, do you know what is boba? You guys know. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, it's I very am famous. Famous. It's very famous. Number. I am I the only one who didn't know about it? Okay. Okay. Did you know? <laughs> no, I don't know. Oba, <laughs> the, the, fur, the fur. Okay. Uh, I want to share an article about uh, boba, 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 boba tea. Yeah, bubble tea, mm. revenge, tarts, hot pot. And now a uh, restaurant is not even selling a boba bubble tea crap. Mm. Bubble tea crap. Mm. Crab. Crab. Sounds crab, delicious. Crab, boba. Yeah, crab, crab, boba. Boba crab. <laughs> okay. Do not ever underestimate the power of food fat, especially if you live in Malaysia or Singapore. <coughs> People who live in this part of the world are obviously passionate about food. And it's not uncommon to see food related trends take on a life of their, their own. From fruit tea to cheese tea and bubble and brown sugar milk tea May, Many bubble tea stores <coughs> have made a pretty penny by coming up with new texts on, on the sugary beverage It seems that other business in food and beverage industry are now looking to cash in on the desire of bubble tea lovers uh, A popular crab, crab restaurant chain in Malaysia has now become one of these businesses with the addition of bubble milk tea, a bubble tea favorite crab at its restaurant in Seremban, Belakong and Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> and crab generation restaurant wrote in Chinese that the 
brown sugar tapioca pork tea. Pork crab was a combination of suc succulent crab, meat, and bouncy bubble tea pork. The restaurant is no stranger to experiment experimental flavors and has in the past introduced crab soup with uh, cheese with cheese and Oreo cookies. Mm. <laughs> We're not sure how delicious such unconventional bubble tea flavored food items are, but one thing for sure, the ability to show them off in Instagram means the bubble tea bubble is not about to burst any eh? It's not about to burst anytime soon. <coughs> okay, that's all from me. So oh, I think I would like to taste the crepe bubble yeah. crepe tea. Yeah. But it's a Chinese restaurant. Oh, oh it's not halal yet. Oh, it's not in Shanghai. Uh, yeah, but that's interesting. So yeah, but it, it is interesting. Yeah. Sounds yeah. delicious. <laughs> yes. Are you sure? I <laughs> think so, right? <laughs> it's quite weird, but I think uh, it's unique. Unique, yes. yes. Okay. Actually, I want to continue about boba. Okay, I want to ask, do you love boba? Here? No. Yes. 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 I yes, love right. it. Mm -hmm. You got it high up. But no. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> but I want to warn you all that uh, drinking <coughs> boba is actually bad because it contain a high level sugar. Because it contain about eighteen point five teaspoon of sugar. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, there's lots. And we as an adult, we only need to consume about 11 teaspoon and extra 7 teaspoon. So it's it seriously lead to diabetes and constipation. Why? Because in China, a 14 years old girl has con has con constipation for 5 days because of boba and when it was examining, <coughs> there was about 100 of bubbles stuck in wow. in her stomach so that bubble oh, wow. doesn't dissolve you know i want to ask wow. is it because she doesn't chew chewing the bubbles or it's because of the bubble itself maybe one of the factor but i also don't know because it doesn't state it clearly there okay so i think about i think i want to stop here so can continue yes. okay right. i'm going to continue I'm going to talk about fast food because everyone loves fast food, right? Yeah. Yes. And there's a lot of fast food restaurants around us such as McDonald's, KFC, what else? Burger King, Wendy's, and Pizza the Hut. Yeah. Yeah. And why do people love fast food? Because of course, <coughs> the term itself, fast food, because they want to consume it quickly, thus it's delicious and the price is also affordable. Yes. Yeah. Right? Okay. But, um, of course, uh, we realize that fast food is not the best for our health because it contains poor nutrition and also high in sugar, salt, trans fat, processed preservative and ingredients. Not all fast food is bad, uh, but however, even the more healthful fast food items are generally high in sugar and salt. So some of the long-term effects fast food can um, make is of course it can harm a person's health and also it can give higher risk of digestive conditions such as constipation and diverticular disease and of course it can cause obesity, insulin resistant, diabetes and cardiovascular condition. As we already know, Malaysia is one of the countries that have high rate of obesity, diabetes in Southeast Asia. True. Uh, yeah. So for children, what fast food can um, make, can affect them is it will increase uh, asthma, rhino conjunctivitis, and eczema. So to preserve health, a person should try to generally uh, restrict the amount of fast food they consume. I think um, this topic about fast food is very re relevant for us to put in our article because um, we all love fast food and we eat fast food very often. So if we put this topic in our article, we can warn people and also remind them to restrict their fast food consumption. That's all for me. Okay. Um, hi, today I want to share about uh, one of the weirdest things that uh, happening in Malaysia. Uh, so even though it seems to be weird, but it is likely to get positive uh, response. So the thing is uh, cheesy charcoal yao. So uh, any of you heard before about no. this? No. Okay. Cheesy. So 
so I want to share about it. Okay, from cheesy fries to cheesy fondies, everything <coughs> seems to go with lots of cheese and cheese. So the addition of cheese um, in char kway teow, a fried noodle uh, dish commonly eaten in Malaysia and Singapore, has re uh, has raised up many people uh, on social media who cannot understand uh, why such dish uh, actually exists. So the dish inventor are from the stall called Spark Cheese at Cyber Jaya and their version of Penang Char Kway Teow is uh, liberally drizzled with cheese sauce and it costs like 7 ringgit Malaysia. So needless to say, this unique dish has piqued the uh, curiosity of many Malaysians uh, who have gone to Western food store to try it for themselves. So, cheesy penang uh, char kway teow is one item on the growing list <coughs> of unconventional food concoctions. So, yeah, who have never heard or eat such a dish? So, this is the dish I want to share, the cheesy char kway teow. Uh, Alright, that's interesting. quite interesting but wow. <laughs> It's rare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very rare. It's a something thing. that never heard before. Yes. Yeah. yeah, a combination of cheese and kway teow. Yes, but definitely I will never buy it. <laughs> <laughs> never mix my but, kway teow uh, with cheese. Yeah, but still have got positive response. Yes, among people like in Malaysia. Because still we are interested in Western food. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is one of the reason I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, for the topic that I want to put in the news is about cuisin. Cuisin is a specific set of cooking, tradition and practice often associated with a specific culture or region. A cuisin is frequently named after the region or place where it originates. A cuisin is primarily influenced by the ingredients that are available locally or through trade. Okay, uh, cuisin has many Varieties depend on each country. Okay, the reason why I choose cousin to <coughs> put in the newspaper is because um, each cousin in different countries have its uniqueness yes. and speciality. Um, some of them are even mind blown. Mind blown. Mind blown. Mind blown. Okay. Uh, for example, is <coughs> Mexico. Mexico is known for its tak. Tacos al pastor. Wow. It is a taco, but the ingredient in the ingredients are put pork, pork, oh. pork, yeah, oh. a blend of pre and post Colombian. Mm. Next is tamales, an Asian Mayan food of masa cooked in a leaf wrappings. Uh, for Thailand, we have mm, somtam. The popular Som green papaya salad oh. is swell, extra spicy, sweet and salty. It is the best of Thai taste. Um, next is Tom Yum A rave party for the mo The floral notes of lemongrass The earthy garangal Freshness of kapil lime leaves And the heat of the chilies For India, we have um, Dal um, Next is Dosa Dosa is like a pancake But it is filled with anything From cheese to spicy vegetables Perfect for lunch and dinner Yes, I love it mm. Me too Is it like <laughs> For the next country, we have Japan. Japan is popular with sushi and sashimi. Um, it is a raw fish put on rice. Okay, another dish for Japan is we have tempura, which is the perfection of deep frying. It is never too greasy, the batter is thin and light like a crisp tissue. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I like tempura. Yeah, that's all from me. Okay. okay, before I start with the news, I want to ask okay. you guys. Do you always finish all your foods? Yes. Or do you <laughs> always uh, buy many type of foods and end up feeling full and throw it inside the dustbin? Which one is? No. My no. Clean. I never did that. Clean. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will make sure I finish yeah. my food. Alright, yes. because my news here is about food wastage in Malaysia. Okay. Why I always highlight the food wastage in Malaysia? Because our country uh, that pride itself on its food. 
because uh, Malaysia <coughs> have many traditional foods because we have many races, right? Like yeah. Chinese, yeah. Indians, uh, Malay. So uh, because of many foods inside our country, food wastage uh, always occur and it is proven by the um, statistic which is the average uh, of Malaysian that throw 1 kg of foods away in a day. Oh. Can you imagine 1 kg, one kg of that's foods? A lot. That's, a lot. Yes, that's a lot. In a day. Wow. Yeah. And this is said by Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Seri Dr. Wan Aziza Wan Ismail when she is closing Malaysian Agriculture, Horticulture and Agro-Tourism Exhibition MAHA in 2018. So this statistic is new and strongly um, strongly believe that uh, food wastage is serious matter in Malaysia. Okay, um, in 2016, a research was made by Solid Waste Management and Public Cleansing Corporation that state uh, household produce 40% food waste. So a household, each household in Malaysia produce 40% of food waste in a day. So that describes <coughs> the seriousness of this matter uh, in Malaysia. Yeah, so I want to put this news in our newspaper because by um, stating about the food wastage, we can educate people to not waste because we are lucky, we are in Malaysia because some of our friends or our uh, what some of humans um, in Somalia, for very example, unlucky. Yeah, uh, very unlucky, uh, didn't get enough food, uh, hungry, <coughs> starving every day. But we are lucky because we have a lot of foods, it's cheap, yeah, affordable. So appreciate our foods and don't waste it. That's all. <laughs> I think it's a good idea because yeah. we can uh, increase the awareness among us yeah. to yeah. prevent uh, food waste. waste yes. Yes. All right. So for uh, uh, as for me, I would like to say about I would like our publication state about avocados. Do you know avocados? Yes. yes. Great. I love it. Do oh, you like? You yeah. love that. Okay. So, uh, my title will be the banning of avocados from trendy cafes over environmental issues. This is why, okay, so avocado is a soft, uh, great super fruit that has gained, that has gained popularity in Britain, the, lo the local hipster cafe in Britain. So, uh, it is usually smashed uh, smash on the toast, yeah. you know the toast, oh, yeah. and uh, or make it as a decoration on the plate, mm -hmm. like the plate thing. Okay, so now, the, uh, some cafes in Britain are ditching avocados, because they claim that the fruit is harming the commerce and land in its place of origin which is South Africa. Why is this? Because uh, one of the cafe, Wild Strawberry Cafe in Britain, they said that the forests are being cleaned out to make way for avocado plantation. Yeah, so obviously this will be contribute to the greenhouse emission uh, by its nature and places pressure on local water. So it means that it is uh, environmental issues, right? Like it is an environmental issue, right? So. But the announcement that we are being released uh, received mixed reviews which uh, the communities because they said this, uh, this is just like a marketing ploy uh, and some of them said that this is like uh, we should uh, they should ban other food too like almond, matcha and all that. So I think that this will be a great news if we put it in our publications. Okay. Uh, so we need to choose which what news, news that is suitable <coughs> to for our publication? So, uh, the truth <coughs> is, uh, each of you can vote two times. In right. two news, you can vote. Okay. Okay. So first, uh, who would like to vote for the food poisoning? Okay. Nobody. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Second for boba. One, two, three. So okay. you got three votes here. Okay. Third for fast food. 
three also. Uh, four. Uh, four. 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 Okay. Uh, cheesy chocolate, Tiao. Yeah? Okay, two. two. Uh, Croizen. Cuisine. Cuisine. Okay, cuisine. Uh, uh, anybody? We got no. nine. We got nine. Okay, food wastage. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. 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 Okay. Uh, and the last one, avocado. Avocado. Two. Two also. So the winner is food wastage and fast food. Fast food. Fast food. <laughs> So for our publications in our food section, we have decided to put two news which is food wastage and also fast food. Yes. Okay, so stay tuned for our publication. Bye! <laughs> Bye.